As with other living things, oxygen is required by the aquatic organism for growth and well-being. Dissolved oxygen or DO may come from atmospheric oxygen and also through photosynthesis for semi-intensive or extensive culture. For intensive culture such as by using recirculation system, DO must be supplied through aeration. So, as photosynthesis contribute to the DO concentration in pond, you can see during the day the DO will increase. But this is of course subject to the amount of sunlight. And at night time since there's no photosynthesis but respiration and decomposition is still ongoing, therefore it will drop the DO. It will increase back during the sunrise. Basically, in order to determine the concentration of DO, we can just buy the DO meter available in the market. However, there are also signs that we could monitor to know if the DO concentration is reducing in the system. The first sign is that the fish will stop feeding or their feed intake is reducing over the time because they are struggling to breathe and feed. Psychologically, of course, if we human too, we won't eat when it's hard to breathe, right? So yeah, that's the first sign. And then the second sign is when most of the fish already swim near the water surface. This indicates that they are already suffocating and need help. These two indicators are important and that it should not be taken lightly. The optimum DO level varies according to species. The lowest DO level that can be tolerated is by African catfish, which is around 3 mg per liter. For more details, I will put all the optimum levels for all these variables in the supplementary article in this section. So how do we increase DO concentration? To increase DO concentration in pond, there are several ways that we can practice. Firstly is by the design. For pond or semi-intensive culture, it is suggested to take into account the wind direction. If the location is appropriate, the pond can be built parallel to the direction of the wind so that natural air will supply oxygen to the water. However, to rely only to this method is not practical. We still need to use mechanical aerator or paddle wheel such as this to ensure the oxygen is supplied throughout the surrounding of the pond. Mixing of air and water will increase the O concentration. We could also make use of the inlet water whereby we could place the inlet pipe at a higher position than the pond to make the splash effect when the water get into the pond so as to increase the oxygen that goes into the water. And finally, another solution to increase DO level is to flush the less oxygenated water at the bottom of the pond with new, more oxygenated water.